I want to go ahead and show you what I actually purchased at AQS. So the first thing that I did was I renewed my membership and for one year membership it cost $25 and then the admission fee into the show is $11 for members and $14 for those that are not members. When you renew your membership you also get a button and this button and some of the booths will give you an additional discount. Some of them did not give a discount because they had a particular show special. And when you do that, you also get a free book from AQS. So this year the free book was Newfangled Piecing. And it says Faster and Easier. And then I also got a show booklet and the show booklet basically just tells you where the vendors are and then they had a few handouts as well the their catalog for May June and then some other flyer stuff as well so nothing fancy there I just wanted to show you what you got in membership so I Got some things because of our discussion. We talked about batting in one of our online sessions and there were some battings that I did not use. So I ended up purchasing batting this time. I have not used Pelon batting at all. And so I decided to do that. So I actually purchased this nine yard bolt and I know it's not gonna show on the camera but I will read it to you. We've got it all tied up. But I actually got the bamboo blend, 96 inches wide, and it's 50% bamboo, 50% cotton. Stitch eight to 10 inches apart. So that's nine yards, and I actually paid $80 for that. So that's about $30 per quilt or less than $30 a quilt and with that they gave us some easy knit tape that we can use to piece our batting together I've been wanting to try this as well but I just normally zigzag mine so I'm interested in trying this out and then we asked if we could get a bag because the bags were for the smaller like individual bags of batting but they gave us a bag and then they also had a pen that they gave us as well the other bat that i got is the hops 100 percent wool batting and these were 30 something dollars a piece i'm just going to say about 36 dollars a piece and i got two of those in the queen size which is let me get the bag again 96 by 108 inches and i got two of those so that i can test them out separately one with a second batting underneath and one just the wool by itself and then i also got two test pieces they're about 19 inches square it's this one is the supreme cotton it just feels really silky And it says that it is 100% cotton on this. That's something new that they're coming out with. And then I also got one to do a test on the 100% cotton with scrim. And the scrim, they said, is inside the fiber. So it doesn't matter which side is the right or wrong side. So that's pretty good. I purchased an embroidery CD. I don't have a picture of the actual quilt that they had made out of this that I can show you here, but if I remember, I'll try to do an overlay on the screen for you so you can see, but it's got all of these different embroidery designs. And then I also bought some of their Mylar. One piece was free. I purchased another piece for $4. So interested in comparing their Mylar to using balloons. 
what I spent at that shop with tax is $57. And then I went to my friend's booth, Iowa Star Quilts, and I purchased three yards of a neutral background, just something that I could use at any time. I always try to support my friends. The next thing that I purchased is this quilt backing. It's three yards that I paid $27 for. It was actually one of the local quilt shops got a storefront that they rented out for the week that was closer to the quilt show area. And they were selling fabrics at discounted prices. They had fabrics for $5 a yard and such kits at reduced price but all I purchased was the one backing and then my last fabric purchase purchase came from africaneverything.com just trying to support some of the vendors I asked about some of their hanging African panels and the panels were listed at $65 and I'm going to show you one that was listed at $65 and I just couldn't afford that. So you're not going to be able to see this all in one grouping. Let me zoom out as much as I can. So you'll see some of my work area here. That's my light. But yeah, so this is half of the panel. And this is a panel that's normally like $65 for the panel. It's what they were saying that it was. And so I said, okay, I can't afford that. And then she said she had a section where everything in there was $10. So I bought a few $10 pieces. So all of these pieces were $10. And I was looking for more people type panels, but I did get some animals so this is a second one and then my third one and again all of these were ten dollars each And they are located in the USA. I forgot where she said they were, but I want to say like Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken. But they are in the USA. And then I got this purple one just because I like the color purple. It was a little bit different animal print than the first one that I showed you. But mostly because it was purple. And I can actually make two out of this if I like because there is a distinct space in between. And then up here I have some trees. So yeah. So I spent about $45 with tax for these four panels. But some of them are just like purchasing a panel from your, from your regular quilting fabric. So I don't know how or what I'm going to do with these but I've been looking for panels that I really like and so now I got some that I can add to my stash I do plan to do a series of African quilts so I'm um, I think I'm set and don't need another thing at this point final store that I went to was quilting a day I actually went to quilting a day they had a location in the quilt show and then I also went to the quilt in a day store they had jelly rolls that are regularly $39.95 they had them 40% off so that made these $26 so I actually purchased this jelly roll I'm always making um, jelly roll type quilts with my scrap club so I thought I would do that and then I also bought one that was in black yellow grays and beige so i tried to get colorways that i don't normally use got two 
And then I also got just a souvenir t-shirt. I'll wear it for a little bit and eventually it will end up in a quilt someday. But it's a Eleanor Burns t-shirt. says the original press to the dark side. The original press to the dark side since 1978. I just thought it was cute. And that's the back of the shirt. And then on the front, it just says quilt in a day. This shirt was $15. So then when we went to the actual store, I haven't been able to find my square up ruler that's six inches. And I like quilting the day's ruler because you actually square your half square triangles up while they're flat. And I like to do that with my scrappy bits that I use, my pieces that I'm sewing extra. The next thing that I got is I got like K facet fat quarters set from Free Spirit. There's 20 fat quarters in. They're regularly $59.99. They were 40% off. And I end up paying about $32 for these. And then I got another pack here. So now between this and what I received as a gift, I do have enough fat quarters. Also, I needed some strips. And these are just scrap bags. These scrap bags here are regular $12.99 and they were also 40% off. I actually got three of these as well. So let me get that. And they're here. I actually was just looking at some. And so I have a game that I want to play with this when we go on retreat. So I just purchased some of those. So yeah. So that is it for my shopping excursion in Paducah and that's also the end of this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.